Hello everyone, I am Robin, the CTO of Matterless, and today is our first developer vlog. A few weeks ago we released a smaller update 0.5.1 where we added hand detection. The hand detection works by analyzing the camera image and then it takes the 2D image and reconstructs it into a three-dimensional hand that you can use in the game world to interact with the digital objects in the world. Based on the position of your hand and all the fingers, we can detect in the app if you're petting your dog, and then it can give a little animation and some sound feedback that you're petting the dog, and it will be happy. Or maybe if he's hungry, he will be angry at you. For now, this means you can pet your dog. Uh, but there is a lot of potential in the future as well, like throwing a ball to play with the, with the Inco, for example. The hardest part of uh, the hand detection is to get a full 3D hand out of only a 2D image from the camera, with no depth information at all. The performance also needs to be good enough to run this every frame, so that there is no delay when you move your hand. Next up, eating mechanics. So, in previous versions, you were feeding the pet by just pressing a button, but now you can feed it inside of the augmented reality. You have to select the food in a new menu, and you, you throw the food into AR, so it follows this arc and lands on the, on the floor, wherever there is like a, a plane that it can lie on. It computes the path, how to walk towards the food, and uh, then uh, to position itself in front of the food to eat it. Then the next step is to actually eat the food and communicate to the server that the food has been eaten so that the, the, the dog can decrease the hunger level. And all of this has to work together. In this update we also added two new foods and removed the old one. And together with this the team had to develop new 3D models for the food since they are now inside of the 3D world. One big challenge was how the feeding mechanic works in multiplayer. So particularly if two dogs tries to eat the same food and almost at the same time, then we need to make sure that only one dog actually gets the food. Because it could happen that both the dogs walk up to it and it gets full from the food. So we had to check the timings a bit and also compensate for delay over the network and try to actually choose which was the first dog to eat the food. And then that gets sent to the server. One fun thing about the feeding is that uh, if you throw many foods on, into the world, then uh, the dog would walk around like between them, eating them one by one, and then up on a table it would teleport up. It became almost like a mini game that we didn't expect would be the case, but it turned out to be super fun. Custom skins was also new things in the 0.6 update. The custom skins means that every pet has its own color variation and pattern. Currently there are mostly variations of brown, but uh, later we plan to add more colors as well. The way it works under the hood is pretty interesting. So firstly, we pick several different colors randomly from a predefined color palette. Then we pick a random palette and then we pick a random texture which defines the pattern of these colors on the dog. And finally it also picks the eye color which is a bit uh, subtle at the moment but you see it if you look closely. Each pet has a unique ID in the system and we use that in order to decide the random color and everything. So it's essentially used as a seed for the random engine you could say. So that affects all of the random numbers after that. So, for the next release, 0.7, the main focus is a rework of the entire UI in the app. Firstly, it's a visual redesign of all menus and inventory and so on, with a more polished look. Secondly, we're adding a much smoother transition between AR and 2D mode. We're basically combining this into just one mode. So it's the same Inco in front of you all the time. It can do everything that it does in AR, also in the 2D mode. The only thing that happens is that 
the camera goes out and it comes uh, like a, a color texture instead. Uh, you don't have to go in and out of the modes in order to check things. The dog will communicate its uh, status and its mood in the 3D world instead. And the, it will be very nice to reveal more about the, the exact details later on. Uh, the mostly visual effects, uh, a little bit more hidden so that you can uh, you don't just look at the progress bar, how hungry the dog is, but the, the dog has to kind of tell you what it wants and you need to learn to interpret what the dog wants. And this will form a more close relationship between you and your pet. So that's our update for what is in the current build and what is to come. Follow us on social media in the links below if you have any questions about what I have talked about. You can also get onto our Discord. Uh, we'd love to talk to you there and answer questions. So see you around.